I'm sorry, Phil, but that is incorrect. You did everything, everything, everything wrong. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Duty, back again with another video. And it's that time again uh, where every week we actually do an audit on our boy DSP's uh, super chats and tips. And also a new little wrinkle that I've added to the mix is that uh, we take a look at where Phil was uh, year over year. So we do a comparative of where he was with his tips and his super chats from last year compared to this time. Uh, we kind of do a one for one uh, each day. So today is the, what's today? Today is the 11th. So we'll be looking from 1 1 2022 to 1 1 11 2022. And then uh, the same thing for 2023. So uh, yet again, of course, you guys know that uh, I use our, our boy. Um, Piece of Pieces tip tracker, right? Uh, to do the analysis. So big ups to Piece of Piece. Uh, this is an awesome tool. I would recommend it to anyone that wants to do a deep dive into DSPs, his memberships, his super chats, Patreon, everything, the bank leaks, everything is on this spreadsheet and it is awesome. So big ups to Piece of Piece for maintaining this. I will link it in the description uh, of this video. So let's get to it. So you guys know what I do is I, I uh, you know, there's so much data here that I sent you just copy and paste the information I need onto a separate spreadsheet, which is this one right here. So hopefully it's clear for you guys. Um, I always find it that if you just chunk it, it just makes it easier to, you know, digest. You know, it, 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 you, cur you curate it for your viewers and it's easy for them to be, uh, to, for them to digest it. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at DSP's performance for this week. As you can see, he had a one, two, three, four, five day. He it was a slow, it was a, it was a, uh, uh, um, only five day stream week, not six, because last week he streamed extra because apparently Kat, um, you know, Kat from her normal eight hour work week, uh, got cut down to a four hour work week. I, I'm assuming that's what it is. So he had an additional, um, day where he could, he can actually do some work and, uh, uh earn some money. So uh, for this week, he, he doesn't have, he only, he only worked five days. Uh, so for his gross tips here, we can see that DSP pulled in $968 for those five days, which if you break it down by five days, it comes out to a hundred and $93 and 60 cents. That's what it breaks out to per day. So Phil didn't do too bad for five days. He almost pulled in a tier two tip goal for every single stream that he did. Now, of course, Phil doesn't like to say that he likes to complain and he likes to bitch and moan that he's not making enough money or he needs money or whatever the case is. But it, or, you know, he whenever one stream is slow, you know, he, he complains on his daily rat. But if you look at it in totality for the work week, Phil pulled in one hundred ninety three dollars and sixty cents per day. So, again, that comes out to almost a two tier uh, two tier tip go for each stream. So he almost wore two hats. Uh, all right. So for super chats, Phil is lagging again. I don't know what's going on with the super chats, but the super chats have been dead. Uh, and I'll show you that over the, when I do the year over year. So he pulled in $391 for super chats, which is actually a little bit better than what he was, he's been doing recently. And if you divide that out by, uh, five days, you get $78 and 20 cents. So that's what F Phil pulled in, right? So if you look at it in totality, our boy Phil pulled in $1,358 for the week, which if you divide that by <clears throat> five days, you get $271.60 per day. So Phil is pulling in $271.60 a day, which isn't bad. It isn't bad at all for streaming three hours, uh, well, streaming three, five hours, a podcast, you know, what are you pulling in? Seven hours there, Phil? That is not bad at all, Phil. Not that bad at all. So I know you like to complain, but you're doing pretty good, Phil. You're doing pretty good. When you're pulling in almost $300 a day, that is not bad for sitting on your ass, uh, petting your cat and playing boring games. So not bad at all. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to look at the year over year. So here you go. I pulled in the um, 
the totals for gross tips and super chats from 1 1 2023 to 1 10 2023 so that's what oh that comes out the nine streaming days that's what that's what phil has done so far and as you can see right he has pulled in uh actually is that right hold on a second i gotta double check my figures make sure they're all right give me one second folks Let's do it. Give me one minute here. Okay, yep, my numbers are right. Just wanted to make sure. So as you can see, Phil has pulled in from January 1st up to uh, January 10th. He has pulled in $1,911 in tips, right? So that breaks down to, what did I say he did, nine days, nine days? That's $212 in gross tips per day. So that's two tier two tip, goal, tip, tip goals per, per, per day. So he's essentially, if you average it out, he's, uh, he's, let me make sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, nine, nine. yep, he's pulling in about $212 in tips for the day. Super Chats, he pulled in a total of $653, which you divide that by nine, gives you $72.55 per day. And then you combine that, you get twenty, you get two thousand five hundred sixty-two dollars. So Phil has made a total for nine days for this year. He's made two thousand five hundred and sixty-two dollars, right? That's not bad. I mean, if you think about that and you divide that two fifty, that two thousand five hundred sixty-two dollars, right? You divide that by nine days. That's two hundred eighty-four dollars a day. So Phil's making almost three hundred bucks a day in support just on super chats and tips. Hey man, that's not bad. That's not bad, Phil. But here lies the problem. So our boy Phil is talking about how he is just seeing exponential growth. It's slow. Yeah, he, he says the same thing. He says exponential, and then he says it's slow. But of course, he talks about how his channel is growing. He's seeing more members. He's seeing more subscribers. He's seeing more views. He's seeing more support. And numbers don't lie, Phil. Numbers don't lie. So if you want to look at this chart right here, as you can see, year over year, I pulled in the 2022 numbers, right? So I made it equatable. So I pulled in nine days worth of streaming. So from 1-1-2022 to 1-11-2022. So that's uh, nine days there, right? Let me double check here. One, two, three, four. Yep, nine days. So he has nine days. So Phil in 2020, 20, in 2022, for those nine days, he pulled in $2,295, right? And then in Super Chats, he pulled in $1,394 for a grand total of $3,687, right? So if you compare that year over year, right, and see what Phil made, in tips, Phil is down minus or negative 17% in tips for that same time period of today versus last year. For Super Chats, he is negative 47 percent so essentially he in super chats last year for the same time period he got close to 1400 bucks this year he only has 653 dollars man that's huge that's that's a 40 7 percent drop and i think a lot of that comes from his den heads being trained essentially like phil likes to say you know he has trained them to like his content so i think he has trained them to tip him you know so that's where you get the lesser super chat. You get the you get less super chats. And the one thing I'm really noticing is that the super chats are actually smaller. I mean, most super chats you get are like a dollar, two dollars. I mean, it's it's not like before. So that is that's where you see the significant drop uh, in his liquidity. Uh, so you know, if you look at and and if you look at the combined totals for this year and last year, this year he made two thousand five hundred sixty-two dollars. Last year, wow, he made $3,687. So he is down negative. He is down negative 31% in total income for this year compared to last year, the same time period. Wow, that is significant. That is significant, Phil. And I'm just curious 
uh, you know, and I would love to do a deep dive to look at those numbers and see why that's occurring. You know, maybe look at the different streams, uh, compare it. You know, I, I'm not sure what's going on. I know Phil typically does really good at the beginning of the year. So for the first two weeks, people are generous. You know, it's still the holidays. He does very well. He does well. But what happens is after about the 10th, 11th day, support starts to drop off and kind of goes back to its normal, um, you know, his normal trend. So as you can see last year, on 111, he only on, on 111 2022, he only made $123 in tips and $82 in uh super chats, right? This year, uh yesterday stream, he only made $77 and then he only made $40 in super chats. So it, it, it again, like I said, you know, that trend um seems to happen every year. So around the 10th or 11th the income starts dropping the tips and the super and that's what happened this year but it was more significant now i know different factors always play into like what game he's playing and stuff like that like i think yesterday he played resident he played resident evil one and then he played uh one piece uh odyssey and just got zero support so it would be really nice to you know and i might do that maybe for next week's video i'll do a compare of what games he was playing from um this time this this period of time and last year's period of time i don't know what he was playing last year i can't remember what he played actually you know what piece of piece, piece of piece i think has that information yeah so he was playing grand theft auto uh and halo infinite which were pretty big games you know and then i think he played lost but yeah lost Souls from resident evil elder scrolls you know so he he had some okay playthroughs and then this year as you guys know he's just been playing um of garbage the only thing that kind of really stood out is uh maybe pokemon scarlet he made okay he made some pretty decent tips there but uh yeah everything else kind of has not paid off for phil and mind you he's going into a dead period for january where there's really not going to be any good games or not not too many games and the games that are coming out he was really not interested in playing mind you he's already doubting playing one piece one one piece uh, odyssey because yesterday's first stream was just a disaster so he may not even play that so he may be stuck with playing retro games yet again he might play another resident evil uh game which you know makes nothing or he might be forced to play like fallout or something to see if he can get the views up and the tips up so anyway hope you guys know uh, i like this analysis by the way big ups to piece of piece yet again thank you. you you're doing an awesome job you're doing the lord's work uh maintaining this massive and robust gourmet spreadsheet so hope you guys like the content peace out